Welcome back to It's Time for Beer. Today I'm going to be looking at a beer that I've been saving in my fridge for quite a while, pretty much since it was released. This is Sierra Nevada's Coffee Stout. This is from the Snowpack, which is the winter seasonal release. The other beers were the Maple Scotch Ale and then a couple of IPAs. This is not to be confused with Sierra Nevada's Stout. This is the Coffee Stout. This is kind of a special one-off. This is 6.2% ABV, 53 IBUs. The malt they use is two-row pale, caramel, chocolate wheat, and brown malt. And all they use in this hopwise is just nugget. And then they add cold brewed coffee. I haven't actually tried this beer yet. I've just been saving it. This was bottled on September 20th of 2016, and it is now March 7th of 2017. And I always find that stouts they keep well and sometimes they, they age well. So I just wanted to hold on to this. So keep that in mind when I give you my review that it was bottled on 9-20-2016. Let's get this into a glass and I'll give you my opinion. Woo, right off the bat, right when I popped that thing open, coffee hit me in the face. Here we go. Well, just like some of the previous filtered over filtered stouts this one looks filtered as well I can it's it's transparent as I'm pouring it kind of surprised with the stout that the head isn't sticking around as much as I would like I swirl it around the head gums and the head goes and probably due to the fact that it's over filtered let's see how this thing smells it smells like coffee coffee is just overpowering it smells really good though let's see how this tastes even though we know it's over filtered crystal clear, it still has a good mouthfeel on it. You put it in your mouth, switch it around a little bit, and it just thickens up. The main flavor we're getting here, right off the bat, coffee. In a stout, I love it when they taste like coffee. They either need to taste like coffee or chocolate. I'm not getting a lot of the, the malt-wise. A lot of the bitterness is coming from, obviously, the hops. Almost the astringency from the malt. That's where a lot of the bitter feeling, the bitter flavor is coming from. This is getting a nice solid A for me. Man, I could drink this thing all day. I wish it wasn't over filtered, but you can't do anything about that. But it's got a good mouth feel. It tastes good. Drink what you like, enjoy what you drink, and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. And to see more beer reviews and homebrew tutorials, please hit the subscribe button. Also, please visit the beer blog and like my Facebook page. The links are in the show notes below.